This is how to remove the stem on a Seiko 7S26 movement. The watch I've got here is my 7S26-0040. Uh, the model number is also SKX031. I like it a lot. It's a very popular movement. So let's see how we can remove the stem. I loosened the back already. And there we go. Ticking away. Uh, with this movement, there aren't any uh, words or arrows. You just got to look for the little dimple on the stem release lever, which is just there. You can see a sort of round dot there. We're going to push down on that. You don't need to pull the crown out to the first or second click. However, if your watch is a screw down crown, like on this diver, then you'll need to unscrew it first. So unscrew that so that it's loose. I haven't pulled it out. Uh, incidentally, what happens if you do pull it out? One click, there you go. You can see it hides the little tab. So don't pull it out any further than just unscrewing it. And then we push down gently on that dimple. <laughs> and as we do that, we can pull the stem out. And to push it back in, you don't need to push down on anything, just gently push the crown in, maybe wiggle it a little bit. There we go, that's in. And if you have got a screw down crown, do not forget to screw it in again afterwards. We don't want any water getting in there. And that is how to remove the stem and crown from a Seiko 7S26 movement.